They remember Allah. They remember, oh, you know what? I transgressed. I sinned. I committed immorality. I did something against myself because my sin does not harm Allah. My obedience will not benefit Allah. If anything, it's going to harm me or benefit me. Oh Allah, forgive me. What did you do? You remembered Allah. You remember the day of Qiyamah. You remember the day you're going to go back to Allah and you said, Oh Allah, forgive me. And then you don't, you don't continue in your bad ways. Allah says, those are the ones whom we created paradise for. They are going to be in paradise. You want paradise? It doesn't mean you need to have a clean slate from day one. You need to have a slate where you have erased whatever muck there was on that slate through Tawbah. Turn to Allah. Increase your good deeds. So there are people around us and there is the real shaitan. The real shaitan comes in several shapes and forms. Jinn form, for example, they may come and trouble you, disturb you. People are disturbed. Allah has never ever left us without guidance. He tells us, protect yourself. Wouldn't you like to be protected? I want to protect myself. Today, if you have anything valuable, what do you do? You lock it. Your car. I was, I was driving a car. The brother told me when you're driving this car in, in, in London, make sure you put a, the steering lock, the steering lock. And I'm thinking steering locks we used to use in Africa in the 90s and 2000. We no longer use them in Africa either. No steering lock. Why? Because they will pinch even the steering. I said, yeah, in London. He says, in London, in London. Imagine. You guys are lucky you Brummies, mashallah. Unless you have two steering locks here. Nonetheless, you lock your vehicle and on top of that, you've put in a mechanism that would deter whoever's going to come and steal. Wallahi, more important than your vehicle and your car and your valuables is you. You are more valuable than anything and everything. If you have not read Ayatul Kursi, today you're at a loss. If you have not read the three Quls or what we call the Mu'awwidatayn Surat Al-Ikhlas, you are at a loss. You need to read it every day, morning and evening, whether you like it or you don't like it, because that is your steering lock. That is your lock. That is, that is the remote that will actually lock your vehicle. It will lock you. So shaitan doesn't come anywhere near. Not at all. Do you get my point? Allah says, protect yourself. I'm here to tell you that Allah has shown you how to protect yourself. The, you know, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us these surahs given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after they were revealed, no one has an excuse. After they were revealed, no one has an excuse. You read your dua. Seek the protection of Allah from shaitan, the accursed, from jealousy, from the night, from the darkness. That's what you're saying. Oh Allah, protect me from evil people. Protect me from evil jinn kind. Protect me from the darkness. Protect me from those who blow into the knots and do magic. Protect me from them. Protect me from... You're repeating it thrice in the morning, thrice in the evening. That's Allah teaching you this. And if you don't do it and then something happens, who is to blame? Who do you blame? You didn't lock your vehicle. You didn't put the steering lock as they said. And your vehicle's gone, your steering is gone. Now what? Didn't we tell you? Yes, we did.